And uh, <clears throat> it's a guy, he's a very straight guy, he's sort of like a uh, used car salesman. And uh, I wanted to do a film where I took this guy and had his head go through very strange changes, very surreal transformations. And uh, he had a little thin mustache. He's actually kind of modeled after um, Bud Abbott of Abbott and Costello. I don't know if you remember them, but he's kind of a sleazy kind of guy. His hair is greased back and sort of thinning on the top. And he always wears a suit, something like this. And anyway, um, he sings this song, and it's one of the worst songs ever made. I wrote it. Uh, it's called Your Face. And it's kind of cornball. It's, it's, in fact, it's very cornball. It's things like, um, um, your face makes me a happy fella. That's why I'm singing a cappella. You know, just really bad lyrics. And so, uh, but the film became a big hit. It's much to my surprise. It was really the first film I'd done on my own. And um, it, it got nominated for an Oscar and uh, went to Cannes and mm -hmm. uh, all these great festivals. And it, it, it made money. And for me to make money doing animated cartoons, everybody said you can't make money doing animated short films. And this film, because first of all, it's so cheap to make. It cost me $3,000 to make. Um, and for some reason, it just communicated to everybody. Everybody thought it was funny, this, this stupid guy doing these crazy head things. You know, things like his mouth would open up and then the top of his head would kind of lift off. Or one of the, my favorite ideas is the eyes sort of suck in and there's sort of like a whirlpool in, in his forehead and the whole face just sort of sucks into the inside of his brain. And then the eyes come from around the back and they come in again and then it stops like this. So it's, you know, bizarre stuff like that. And I think that's why people liked it. It's just because it's something they've never seen before. And to me, that's what I like to create my art is show you something you've never seen before. And that, that's what, what, what I strive for in my animation. So this was a film that really got me going. This was in 85, uh, and um, it showed me that um, uh, I could make money doing animated short films. As soon as I screened this, I remember the first screening, it was in New York here, it was at a CIFA, which is an organization of animators. And uh, I'd never um, shown my films, my comedy films before to a public. And I was sitting in the back row and uh, there were all these famous animators, New York animators in the audience because it was an animation organization. And I was so embarrassed, I thought I would, they would kick me out of the building because I was so bad. But people started laughing after like five seconds, they started laughing. And it's the first time I've ever heard people laugh at my work because it's in print. It was all in magazines and newspapers. And I've never gotten that response, you know, of, of a room full of laughter. And my, my body just kind of electrified. It was just like every nerve was tingly. And uh, I walked home on a cloud that night. And the next morning, I called up all my newspapers and magazines. And I said, I'm stopping doing an, uh, print magazines. I'm going to go into animation. And they all laughed at me and said, you're nuts. Nobody makes money in animation. Don't you know it's dead? I said, no, I think, uh, I, think I can I have a future in animation. So um, that was really the beginning of my, of my career. <laughs>